Hello everyone, Cal here. In this tutorial I'll be splitting it up into two sections. Section 1 being how to convert a mod you have downloaded for single player, and section 2 being how to put that mod into Chuckers MP after the conversion. If you have already downloaded a pre-converted mod, such as one from my Discord server in the description, you can skip to section 2 of the tutorial. Once you load into the game with the mod you want to convert into Chuckers MP, if you just go to the truck customization and add that item into your truck to start off with. So for instance I want the GPS on my windshield. So I'm in a UK truck so I'll select that one. And for this you need access to the console commands in your truck. So you see the key to the left of one you have the tilde key. If you press that if you don't know how to get this I'll put a link in the description to the tutorial. You see you have this gps.tabwgps line. You want exactly from the GPS to the end of the hookup and you want to take note of this. Once you've got note of that, remove that item from your truck and just replace it with a base game item. Such as I'm just going for for Michelin pennant since I don't have any on my truck to begin with so it's easy to find. I'll just confirm that order, close out of here, press escape and do a manual save. Once you're on the desktop you need to download this raw file which I'll have in the description. This has some tools you need to convert the mods into the Cryptia profile later so you can add the mods into multiplayer. So once you've got these tools, you'll just put them aside for the moment and go into your file explorer. And just go to your documents. You took some layer too, not your multiplayer files. And go back to your mods folder where you put your mod originally. So minus from the mega pack here. You need a program such as WinRAW to open this up. So let us go open with, I have WinRAW here, if you don't see it, you can look for the app on the PC somewhere. You can use zip files if that's better for you. Once it's got that open, I recommend creating a folder here. Now it's called my local mods, just to put it all in one place. Then in here, I have all the local mods I've already done. And now I'll just create a new one for now. Just for video tutorial. I'll just put tough for now. Just go inside there and extract everything into that folder. Once that is extracted, you have all these files here. I'm just going to quickly go back into my local mod folder and I'll create a new folder. This is going to be for the local mod which I'll use for multiplayer, so I'm going to use GPSWUK. You can call this whatever you want. Back into the mod you just extracted, if you go into the dev folder, vehicle, add on hookups. You have a bunch of SII files. In one of these files you will have that ID you took note of before. So mine was the gps.tab etc. So I'll need to search for all of these to find where I can where this is. So I know mine's in Mega 3.0. So I'll open up that in Notepad++ which I recommend to use. It's a bit more friendly than Notepad. I can press Ctrl F. Search for that. And I have it here, the accessory hookup in data with the ID I took none of before. I'm just going to copy this and place it into my other text file just for now. And I'm going to close the previous one. Now that I've got this data here, you'll notice there's two file paths. Sometimes the call will not have one, but you will always have a PMD here. So if we just want to follow that file path, so if I go back, I'll go into vehicle, truck, Upgrade, interior decals, toy stand. I need to find the tab tablet underscore ws underscore uk. Tablet, let's see. So I have these three files here. Yeah, but I have a PMC, a PMD, and a PMG. You're going to need to copy all three of these files. Once copying these files, just paste them into the new folder you created. If you haven't downloaded the tools in the description, I recommend doing that now since we'll need them. If you open up that raw file, you'll have convert tools and profiles. If you go into convert tools and copy these folders over into your local mod conversion, I'll just minimize that for now. If you open up this convert at the top, press the second option and go into PMD. 
it should automatically find the folder that you're in but if you open up from somewhere else you need to go back to your utruck document the folder where you are i've just put the new pmds pmg and pmc files which i've already got here once that's open you get a bunch of more files again you need to go find these so if i go back to where i extracted them automat folder 59 you need to get that one bf there just following the end path and i'll paste that over here you need to do this for each and every one of these sometimes they do duplicate so you have the exact same file path and multiple ones if that's the case just skip past it you just did it once you don't have to do it again once you've copied all the mat files into your local mod folder you go back to the program and we need to change the file path since it's now different so we'll need to do slash home first which will, is the exact same it's going straight to here so we'll go straight to your utruck documents folder you don't write out the entire line you just do slash home then from slash home which will take me to here my mod goes into the local mods folder so i'll need to type in local underscore mods then once in there mine goes to another folder which is gpsw uk and that's where all my mat files are located now once you've got that file path correct you will press this button right here which will change these but as you'll see you still have the automat slash whatever numbers or letters are there so you need to remove them two for each one just like I'm doing here once you've removed that and the file path is correct so the home again is directly to utrux documents folder then local mods folder then the gpsw uk folder or whatever you call it once that is done you press this button up here then this button here which will save it after that you can close down this program and you will need to open up all these mat files in your text editor to render these files in a notepad if you just open up your notepad plus plus you can highlight all the files and drag them over if you're on notepad you just have to do that manually you have to do each one individually so such as this file here for the first one i've got it's telling me to go to this location here so back to the mod that i extracted i'll go to vehicle truck and as you see in this case there's no share folder if this file path simply does not exist you can just close that map file and move on to the next one so I'll follow this one instead, which is vehicle truck, upgrade, interior decos, toy stand, textures. So I need to find the galaxy tab. So let's see. I've got that here, the galaxy tab. Yep, the galaxy tab right here. So once I've got that one, you'll notice it wants the T or BJ, but it'll have an identical name for that with a DDS image you need to copy both these files the one with the DDS and the TOBG copy these files and put them in the extracted local mod once you've done that go back into notepad and you see again we need to change the file path so again to go to utruck documents it's slash home slash mine goes into my local mods folder so then local underscore mods another slash and then I have GPS W UK for my next folder just follow whatever folder path that you've done which will direct to that file if a mat file has more than one texture such as this one does you just need to find both so I'll go back go into material and again this time it does not have an environment folder so I can just ignore that line I don't need to edit it once that's done that I can save this document move on to the next one this is another one you can get again there's nothing you can edit in this one you just close it straight off and now I have more file paths just do this do the exact same as the previous one and I'll get back to you once that's done once you've copied all the files over and changed all the file paths like I've done for all of these 
you might notice that some of them, such as the TOBJ file, they might not have a DDS file that comes along with these ones. So just these two that I copy here, there's no DDS file. That's fine, just continue on. We'll find them later with this tool here. So now, if we open up the TOBG edit, then we just need to drag and drop each one of the files into here. Such as this is one of the ones I could not find. But you see now it scales a file path extension. So if I follow that extension, which will be in my video tutorial, the custom folder, tablet, and now I have the two files, two DDS files I was missing, I can paste them in here. Now back to the tool edit tool, I just need to change the file path like I did before. In this tool, unfortunately, you can't copy and paste, cause it will just wipe the entire file. So I'll have to manually type in the slash home, local mods, GPS, W, UK. So I've got the file path, which then goes directly to here. Then you just need to go to file, save, continue with the next one, get the next one, drag it over, do the exact same. So the slash home, local underscore mods, GPS, W, UK. Then I can save that again or press Ctrl S. You can skip the DDS files as that's where the file path's going to. You can skip the PMG, the PMD, and the PMC and go to the next TOBJ. Copy that over and you only want to keep the exact file name to the DDS file. And as you can see with this DDS file, if I just quickly type in the link, you can see after the DDS, there's a dot. It might have some other symbol there. If any of them do have that, just remove it and save it. Just do these for all of the TOBJ files and I'll get back to you. Once you're done editing the TOBJ files, you are done the conversion part and now we need to make the mail control for it. In the description of the video, I'll have something very similar to this, which you need to edit specifically for your mod. So if you go back to the accessory hookup in data, you will still have that name you took note of before. If you copy that and paste it into the new one, which you just got from the description, replace the add-on hookup, and it will look like this. Now, for the model in call, you need to replace this as well. So you need to route it to your home location, so that's the YouTube documents, to your local mods, which is my folder I've got, then the GPS folder, which I've created, and then you need to link to your PMD file for the model, which will be the exact same PMD as this, just in the new location, which is here. And do the exact same for the call, except it's a PMC file. If your call was empty when you originally got this, you just need to ignore that. Now in the accessory hookup data for your original one, if it has a variant, which is different from default, you do have to change it in the mail control. So this one will have GPS here, so I'll need to change this to GPS here as well. And same goes for the look, if it has a different look other than default. If it does not tell you, you can just leave these as default in here. Section 1 of the video is now complete. Now we're moving to section 2 of actually getting these models into multiplayer. So, we'll first need to go into our profiles folder your profile, your save, and wherever you saved it to. Mine is in the folder called the one. Once I go into there, I need to go into the raw file, the tools, which if you haven't downloaded already, if you just joined from the Discord section, you need to download these tools, go into profile, and copy the SII, both AXEs, into your save location folder. Now I can close down this. Once that is done, you can take your game SII and drag it over the SSI Decrypt EXE. Once that is done, you can edit the game SII in Notepad. It will come up like this. What you need to do is press Ctrl F and search for mail underscore CTRL. Press find and find it again until you come to this section here. 
If you came from the Discord section or you made the mod yourself, it's the same process. In Discord, you'll see something very similar to this. It's going to be the exact same process. So if you take the add-on hookup data link here, if you just copy this, it will have a different name till the end of add-on underscore hookup if you did a different item. You need to copy this, go back into your game SII. In your mail control, you need to go to the last inbox you have, which mine is inbox 6. I'll create a new line after that. I need to enter inbox, square bracket 7, because it goes up by 1, so whatever you need to go up by. Put a colon, put a space, and paste that add on hookup name. And do that for how many you add, keep going up by 1. This number at the top here will always go up. So it's always one more than your last one, so mine needs to go by one, so we'll go to eight. And I'll save that then. After that, I need to scroll down a bit and keep going until I'm at the end of all the male deaths. Then it starts to say over, over size offer. If I just go to the last bracket here, I press enter twice, I'll create a new section here. In Discord, if you just copy this entirely, and if you did your mod, do the exact same, except you have it in your notepad. Copy this and paste it into here. Make sure everything's right, make sure you've got your speech marks there, because if not, it will crash your game. And now, if you go back up to the top of your Word doc yeah, your notepad document, sorry, click the top, do another Control F and search for assigned underscore truck. You see your assigned truck here, yeah, you need a copy this line, press Control F again, and I need to search for that. So you search it, if you may have to search it a few times until you get the vehicle, then that name. Once you're here, you need to keep scrolling down until you find the item you want to replace. So now it's got to this section here, which I can see the slot hookup data, and here is the Mitchell man I need to replace. So again, I will go back to the accessory hookup data, copy the name of the accessory, go back into my game SII, and replace this. Once that's replaced, I can save my program and start loading Truckers MP. Once loading the Truckers MP, if you didn't use an auto save and you did a manual save like I did, you just load your game again, press the unnamed save. You start loading in. You can see I'm definitely connected to multiplayer there. You can see I have that GPS working now, which you usually cannot get in multiplayer. Let me just drive out of that guy there. So you can see I've got that working. No one else can see this. Just make sure your mod is in guidelines of Truckers MP, so you can't get banned for it. That should be all you need to know to get mods working in multiplayer. It doesn't just have to be like a GPS like I've done. If you go into my Discord server in the description, you'll see things like Mario and Luigi, the DeLorean, a Volkswagen. You can put uh, any accessory you want. That is an add-on hookup. You can put some more lights on your truck. Just again, make sure they're in Truckers MP guidelines. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you out. If you need any more help with this, you can join my Discord in the description. I'll see if I can help you out, as well as commenting down below. And thanks for watching.